God bless you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. He is so amazing. He is so amazing. Right. Please stay with me. A very key uh, teaching also. And uh, to let it benefit you. And teaching um, about... Uh, a sermon teaching is not counsel. And it sounds very uh, simple. Uh, it's, it's also... Right, sorry. It is very simple, but if you don't understand this in your, uh, emo in your emotions, in your personal life, then you can find out that teaching and teaching can uh, touch you, hurt you in a certain way that you don't understand why is this happening. And um, please share this many times, this teaching that also other people get also the benefits from this teaching and this uh, and sermon and a teaching is not counsel uh, God can use this for counsel to counsel you that is that is uh, very possible and uh, in, in, in um, let me say it this way if you are mature in faith and, and and walking in the spirit you will know this you will experiment when you have um, yes you know this by yourself by revelation and l listen to this teaching so you find out m I believe so the Lord give you more revelation about how can God work this out but if you don't uh, are mature in your faith if you don't know this possibility or somehow you don't know then it's easily if or you live in a season or many years in very big pain in a disappointment and grief then can and teaching can hurt you that you think oh I have to do this I have to do this then is it not then then make you then uh, you listen and this teaching this sermon comes to you uh, like counsel and what but uh, what I mean with counsel is you have and with counsel is uh, is an, an an instruction in time and season with and picture, and you have to be careful to receive counsel from a teaching. Why? It can hurt you. It can bring you down. It can bring you. It can break you. And it is not that is not the purpose from a teaching. That's not the purpose from a sermon. If God will use uh, a teaching to teach you something so you can repent or uh, he will bring counsel to you he will let you know but not to attack you don't let you bring you down don't get frustrate you yes he can frustrate you in your feelings yes this is uh, that is very possible um, maybe you are <laughs> doing a lot of wrong in your life then maybe can bring God you in a, in a big uh, you can can God you bring you in a situation that he, that and teaching can very uh, uh, can stir something up in you that you are get in irritation in annoyance in frustration yes this is this also possible I want to make a little bit of balance and I want to go into the scriptures so what the, the Bible teaches about but I want to make it clear and I want I have a very great uh, example by the grace of the Lord Jesus if you again please don't let a teaching um, and teaching can be very true for and teaching can be very good but if in teaching is not a right in time listen if you re listen and teaching not right in time it can be hurting you and I want to use another uh, example from um, if you buy a house, but again, uh, and and I I've, uh, this it's on my heart to share this, is. And teaching, is to teach you, and if you go to the church to the men of God, and you 
ask him a, a question f um, why you have a need or you have pain if you have a problem then you ask him to counsel and he brings something in personal in your life and to look and to see and to ask you certain questions so he gives you an instruction with counsel and please uh, that is very key to understand but in teaching is in teaching and not counsel and God the Holy Spirit can point and uh, this uh, teaching probably may, maybe this teaching he points out or you feel something in you I have to listen to this I have to listen to this man I have to listen to the teacher why I don't know and later on you're sitting and you're listening and you get frustrated or your God touch you and you don't know then I already give you the answer God have a counsel, will counsel you I want to instruct you I want to guide you he want to point out and it's very key that if you are listen to my teaching you must meet Jesus I cannot speak for myself <laughs> oh Jesus and if you if you meet a teacher from God you meet, must meet Jesus also I'm not Jesus myself I'm hosting Jesus in my heart and what is Jesus Jesus is the way you can find in this teaching the way of Jesus there is some words that Jesus can use you to teach you to follow his way in a proper and good way in holiness and in good direction in wisdom and also there must be true in this teaching it is not only me speaking with my own words there's a, he's speaking and also there must be life in this teaching Jesus is life right so that is you <laughs> That is what you have to receive and to meet in a teaching and a sermon, right? Okay. I want to use now the, the, the example, this very nice example. If you buy a house, you contract, you meet, you invite a builder. He want a, a constructor to make your house well. You meet, you buy some probably uh, an old house and you the kitchen is very old or very bad and to have to a new one uh, then you the bedroom uh, all the rooms and you invite him you have an appointment with him and he walk all to all the rooms of your house that you buy it. then he gives you an in uh, an, 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 an counsel for the kitchen what to do and what to invest in money and he gives you also uh, uh, an example what to do but if you don't have any uh, understanding from a kitchen he also gives you a teaching <laughs> he teach you he gives you counsel about the kitchen but listen this is an other teaching and other counsel if you are staying uh, you are uh, you are in the bedroom it's other place it's other surrounding there is other needs in the bedroom and also in the bathroom that's also another place and uh, for example you can um, you need a toilet that it that's that's the time you need a toilet in your house if the toilet is do doesn't work you then you the timing I speaking about the timing the spiritual timing that means if you are inviting you say please make first of all the toilet and that I have water that I can wash myself that speaks about timing it speaks speak about room about places about counsel about receiving knowledge so you can understand what he got to do and what the need is and uh, the purpose from every room you have to share this and to uh, to receive it to understand it so you can make your house um, and place from a place to serve God right right I want to um, um, and every room is in certain season that you must understand your season and the Holy Spirit and if you understand the Holy Spirit if you follow him you obey him he won't point something out that fits to your season and he he brings not something in that you're frustrated that you are in pain that you don't that that you he don't want to encourage you he want to 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 bring you up a new level right pray on it if and the Lord will give you understanding right 
and other this is very key this is very key and um, the Bible is very clear a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding a man with a mind shall attain unto wise counsel that means this this prophets 1 verse 5 and the book of Proverbs teach you and the Bible teach you to be like a wise man to receive wisdom be uh, and that you 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 are the gift you become the gift you are the gift of God but there is um inside this line is teaching about that you can speak with a good question this question comes from your need and this question comes by that you can ask counsel wise counsel you are wise you are teach by the word of god you have the knowledge from the word of god and you have knowledge and relationship with jesus so you can ask god and you can ask and can you can receive from and teaching you can receive counsel from and teaching why you 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 have a need and question you can make a picture from what you what you want you can understand what is going on in yourself it's not always easy sometimes get god uh, this understanding oh he, he he remove your understanding from you so you must learn first something and you can step in a deeper dimension with god and then he gives you understanding what is going on I give you and the Lord will give you understanding sometimes I teach this from an understanding otherwise I cannot speak with an honest to to deliver this I have other great teach uh, other great um, uh, scripture to make it more clear and um, Job say this if I have an error if I have an error teach me and let me see where is my uh, error where is my that i don't walk straight i, I uh, if somebody if <laughs> is listening he understand me i want to round it up on the last scripture it's a very beautiful one i'm re i already have made my point and this this i already have made, made my point so you and that's my that's my desire for you that you don't be that you are armed with knowledge and armed with knowledge but also that you are fully aware about the possibilities true and speaking from a man of god true and speaking from true and uh, sermon true and speaking uh, from and and and, and teaching that can, God can use it and work something out through this teaching at other uh, uh, preachers or in a church in and online right and I want to round up on the last scripture for thou our Lord of hosts God of Israel has revealed to my servant saying is 2 Samuel 7 27 28 is and two special scripture Surfing say, I will build day and house. Yeah, the prophet came, Nathan came to David. And listen, the Lord can speak to you in your quiet time or daily time. It doesn't matter for God, there is no restriction for God. David speaks about he he that prophet is speaking to him, the man of God. But God can speak you in your quiet time, maybe in, in, in on your work. You are you have a quiet moment, and you you focus and you you know there is something God wants to say to you. Or sometimes He speaks and you say one, and you wonder yourself, what what is going on? And the Lord He will speak. That is also in the scripture. I will build a house. Therefore, I had my search found. Listen, what the Bible teaches. I will build the and house. Therefore, I had thy servant found in his heart 
to pray this prayer unto thee. This, there is an, if you put Proverbs 1 verse 5 and this together, it shows you something amazing. And the Lord will give you understanding. It's, it's not always easy to understand. Have, uh, have, have patience with you. Now, and now, O oh Lord God, thou art God, and thy words be true, and thou hast promised this goodness unto thy servants. Think about this. You can find something in your heart to ask that the Lord already has spoken to you, but in the question in the heart is something different to what he speaks. So you pray on it and you receive a new part, a new uh, by in teaching from this or receive something and uh, so can God can move bring something into this earth realm for you think about this it is amazing it is amazing it's amazing amazing please share 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 we have to know all believers we have to know the possibilities of the Word of God what God want to do in our lives is so amazing right share and that the Lord uh, bless you and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.